Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're gonna kind of ramble about the abdominal muscles when you're squatting. So, I don't know what you have heard, but there are, there are a lot of thoughts on how should I use the abs and how should I brace myself when I'm, when I'm squatting. So, the idea of bracing works really well. So, um, I guess the, the premise here is that you're creating more pressure inside your oven's preheated. You're creating more pressure inside your abdomen area. We call it intra-abdominal pressure. Intra meaning within. Uh, you're creating more pressure that way. And so, you know, pressurized air can lift a car. So if you need to lift a thousand pounds in your squat, you're going to need some pressure in there. So the idea of bracing is we turn the abs on, we tighten everything that we can, we compress as much as we can, and then we just try to maintain our balance while we move our joints. So I'm not gonna feel my abs quite that much, but I am gonna feel this pressure. I'm gonna feel this sensation. It sounds like people are here. But hi, Chris. We're filming. <gasps> Yay! Do you want to talk about the abs? About what? Do you want to talk about the abs with me? The abs? Yeah. Watch. I got the goodies. There weren't sweet potatoes, so I got squash and Brussels sprouts. Perfect. I don't know if they're not. Did you get a haircut? No, I, I gelled it over because it was gross. So, Chris is here, and we're going to talk about <laughs> abs together. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we're having a little get together at dinner. We're having a, a Bay Area Mountain View training at Google mastermind group right now. And this is not related to the abs at all, but <laughs> this is so worth talking about. Come on over, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm trying to rant on abs and okay. if you're using them when you're squatting. So would you say that when you contract something or let's say you're doing a go 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 type of squat you're doing something really heavy or whatever you're just as pat davidson would say you're mashing yeah um do you think you're gonna feel your abs when you do that yes okay explain more i'd say probably just through like valsalva you probably just feel a ton of Ah, Valsalva. Yeah. So I have a video on the Valsalva maneuver and bracing, and we just talked about it. Um, so you might feel it, yes, it's mostly isometric, so you may not feel it as well. Right. And if you're doing a, a like heavy kind of loaded squat, don't feel anything. You, yeah, you probably don't feel that much yeah. because you're turning a lot of sensory system stuff off and you're getting really hindbrain, right? You're getting really automatic. Mm -hmm. um, also, People generally feel the abs when it shortens like a motherfucker, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should say that on my YouTube channel, but I am. Yeah. Um, when, when those muscles get really short, they feel them, right? So that's why people like doing crunches because they can feel that stuff turn on. And it feels like they're doing something. So you, that's why people don't understand that squatting is an ab exercise too because you don't feel it. It's, it's a synergist, right? It's, it's a supporting act it's not the the main event right. so you probably won't feel it i would disagree you probably won't feel it well agree with your second guess disagree with your first guess probably won't feel it during a heavy brace but uh, if i take something like a, a more mobility minded drill maybe my heels are elevated maybe my feet are a little closer together maybe i reach really far and maybe i exhale a lot to shorten that muscle then I might be feeling it. Uh, some people just won't feel that right away at all. And good luck if you're doing that because generally you're harder to work with because it's harder to feel some things. But I think you can get it if you stick through it. Make sure you reach your feet down. Make sure you're reaching your heels down through the ground. Make sure you reach forward and make sure you exhale a long time and as long as you can or as much air as you can to help Again, get that shortening. Um, so recap, if you're doing 
really heavy stuff. This is the most laid back video I've ever had. Somebody came in, we the thing went off, the beeping, and now I'm just leaning on the counter, which I've been most of the video anyway. This is ridiculous. Um, um, I'll post it though, don't worry. <laughs> so recap, if you're bracing, you're probably not gonna feel those abs so much, though they are working, remember that. Um, and if I do want to feel them, it's probably in a more mobility-minded squat, right? Or maybe it's when I'm conscious just setting up for the heavier thing, right? I could do a set of six and still feel that. By the by, the sixth rep, I'd be shocked if you're still feeling it. I'd I'd yeah. you know celebrate right because that that could I think be a good thing. I think you could still push yourself pretty hard on a set of six and still consciously feel your sure. your abdominals. But or like I would I feel a shit ton of abs if I'm doing super heavy squat front squats but not back squats. Yeah, yeah. You know, or safety bar, I feel both there. Just not back. You feel safety bar too. Yeah. So um, why do you think you feel it in the the, the front, squat. front, yes. Um, probably because my shit, so I'm shifting forward there. I'm allowed to shift back and go straight down. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas the back squat, I just feel like my abs are in more of a lengthened position. Whereas front squat, I feel like it's more stacked. So I can just go more up and down with the rib cage and the pelvis, and I feel like I lose that position with the back squat. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a pretty good explanation. You can also look at it from the the back squat position has me bent over more mm. and will inherently load my back more and my front less. Sure. Why do you think you feel it in the safety squat bar? Because the arms are forward almost. But I don't oh, know why interesting. I feel it more. Do you actively reach through yeah. the handles? Yeah, I reach and then almost bring the elbows forward, just like the front squat. So that's probably why. So that would do it. Yeah, yeah. Because then it's still a little bit more upright. Okay. Compared. Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that, that was the, the point I would make is when you have something, it's like the difference between a low bar squat and a high bar squat, right? right. So if the weight is further away from my lever or from my um, axis, the leverage gets longer, the moment gets longer. So it's harder. Um, and so if I bend over, that gets amplified. So 135 feels like 185 when I'm yeah. bending over with a safety squat bar. So you have to stay more upright if you're going to you know, optimize your leverage at all. Yeah. That's cool. So this is the most exciting video we've ever made. <laughs> we should start working out. I'm just going to do pistols and, and uh, hopefully those thoughts were entertaining. Hopefully they were helpful, but if not, hopefully they were at least entertaining. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>